Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Toddler Tales. Let's get started with our song. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. I hope you guys are doing well this week. Guess what? It's the start of a new month. Today is February the 1st means it's the first day in our second month. So we are getting ready to start a story and it is called Gifts of the Magpie. And this is by Sam Hundley. So let's get started with this, Gifts of the Magpie. I really like the way that the art is done. Can you see it's like pictures that have been pieced together on something? I mean, all sorts of parts. The magpie is good at finding things. She finds treasures others have lost or left behind. One day, she asked her friends, what can I find for you? The goat who was tired of winter replied, spring. It's springtime, said the magpie. Very funny, said the goat. The lonely mouse replied, another mouse. Click away, said the magpie. Sigh, said the mouse. The hawk without a home replied, a pen of my very own. Here you go, Shakespeare, said the magpie. Snort, said the hawk. The hungry squirrel replied, a nut would be nice. Nothing would make me happier, said the magpie. Uh, said the squirrel. Now I want you to look at it. Is that, that's kind of what we say is a nut whenever you're talking about tools, like nuts and bolts. The far-sighted owl replied, a pair of glasses, please. Cheers, said the magpie. Not what I had in mind, said the owl. What did the magpie give him? Glasses, but they weren't the kind for your face. The boy who loved baseball replied, I could use a bat. Catch, said the magpie. What did the magpie give him? A bat that flies around. Help, cried the boy. The magpie meant well, but she got everyone's wishes wrong. At first, her friends were disappointed. But the more they thought about it, the better each gift became. The goat bounced on the spring, which warmed his heart. The mouse went online and connected with an old friend. The hog used the pen to sign a lease on a cozy apartment with a roof. The squirrel used the nut as a nutcracker, which was much easier than using his teeth. The owl found that she could see again when looking through the glasses. And the boy had a pal for playing catch. Hooray, cheered her friends. Aw, shucks, said the magpie. Mistakes happen, but creative thinking can turn blunders and to wonders. The end. That was really cool. I really like how they made the magpie. It looks like there might be some pottery and some wires. And if you look really close at the wings, it's a comb. And then it looks like you know the flowers that you could get from Walmart that are fake? It looks like maybe they used that for the neck and then maybe some sculpting for the head. That's really cool, isn't it? I bet that would make a fun art project. See what you can make from things that you find around the house or your yard and turn it into something really cool. All right, guys, that's it for Toddler Tales today. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget we have... Uh, story time coming up on Thursday, and then we'll have Toddler Tales again on Tuesday.
And then we'll have Monday the 14th, I believe, we'll have some bingo. And it's just not regular bingo. It's Valentine's Day bingo. There's going to be a bunch of cool prizes and everyone that comes gets to win a prize. So make sure you come and join us for that. All right, guys. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, guys.